so here we will discuss about the second type of complement activation pathway that is alternative pathway of complement activation the important difference between classical pathway which we have discussed earlier and this alternative pathway is for classical pathway of activation antibodies are uh, important so the complement is going to bind basically to the fc region of the antibody and thereby the classical pathway will start we have seen that but this alternative pathway is uh, um, antibody independent so antibodies are not required for activation of this pathway so this pathway starts with spontaneous cleavage of c3 in the previous classical pathway we have seen that c3 is cleaved by c3 convertase but here c3 convertase is not required however c3 can undergo spontaneous cleavage very slowly but this happens very slowly so few molecules of c3 will undergo spontaneous hydrolysis very slowly and the larger fragment of this cleavage that is c3b a fragment attaches to the foreign surface we can see here so after attachment so this exposes c3b to give a um, oh, what you call to give a site which can be acted by uh, factor b now factor b will join c3b after this factor d factor d is going to cleave factor b into a smaller fragment and a larger fragment and here you can see the larger fragment of factor b is attached there itself and the smaller fragment of factor b diffuses away now the larger fragment of c3 that is c3b and also the larger fragment of factor b that is capital b small b so this all together is called as c3 convertase now so this c3 convertase is now stabilized by a properidin this c3 convertase can easily convert it can rapidly convert many more molecules of c3 into larger fragment and smaller fragment it cleaves c3 into larger fragment and smaller fragment now like this when c3 undergoes cleavage more molecules of c3 undergoes cleavage the larger fragment of c3 uh, now again joins this c3 convertase and this is going to uh, activate c5 convertase this c5 convertase further cleaves c5 into a larger component that is c5b and a smaller component that is c5a this larger component as discussed earlier it is going to join with other components like c6 c7 c8 c9 and finally it forms membrane attack complex first of all c3 hydrolyzes spontaneously and the larger fragment c3b it attaches to the foreign surface i mean antigenic surface in the next step factor b will bind to the larger fragment that is c3b this binding exposes site which can be attacked further by factor d factor d cleavage generates c3b bb means factor d cleaves factor b into a larger and a smaller fragment this will have a c3 convertase activity this whole compound uh, component will have c3 convertase activity further binding of properidin stabilizes c3 convertase then c3 convertase will uh, cleave c3 and uh, generates a larger fragment that is c3b some c3b molecules they bind further again to same c3 convertase this will activate c5 convertase c5 convertase can 
cleave C5 to produce C5B the larger component. C5B it is going to again bind to the antigenic surface and it is going to uh, further join with C6, C7, C8, C9 and produces a membrane attack complex.